Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to the match day vlog. That's right, the match day vlog for Chelsea versus Liverpool. Now, in midweek, I did just like a game review at the end of the game, and you wanted the vlogs back, so the vlogs are back straight away. Now, I will say there won't be all sort of in game footage and stuff because, you know, you can see that anywhere, but I will do the journey, the reactions to the lineup after the game, all that sort of stuff, all the usual stuff. So, yeah, consider yourselves lucky. Anyway, um, West Ham versus Man United is taking place right now. Let me show you the, the, uh, the fans over there. So you can probably, you can probably see the fans pouring in there to West Ham versus Man United. That game takes place in about 20 minutes or so uh, at the London Stadium. We're obviously already eight points clear of United, so um, whether they're a concern or not remains to be seen. But yeah, the Chelsea game today is obviously going to be very tough. They beat us midweek, albeit both teams uh, much changed. But yeah, this is about as hard as it's going to get. Um, you know, they didn't drop points until just over there last weekend. Um, they're looking very strong and Hazard in uh, scintillating form. Uh, most importantly for us though, it looks like Van Dijk is going to be okay. Um, the reports last night were that he has obviously travelled down with the squad and he should be okay to play, uh, although paying, playing through a pain barrier. So let's, you know, fingers crossed, hope that's all okay, hope he plays well. And if he does, then the Reds have got a huge chance of winning. So. I'm quietly confident. I said on a preview on Blue, Blue Lions TV that I'm confident. I've got a bit of stick from Chelsea fans, um, but let's hope that confidence is justified and the Reds can get the win today. So I'm making my way out now. Uh, West Ham 3, Man United 1 with about five minutes to go. So I'm hoping if I leave now, I avoid the rush. Um, yeah, United, eh? Dire straits. Um, but yeah, let's get to Wells Court for three o'clock and then it's the march to Stamford Bridge. Come on. So I'm outside a pub called Courtfield, uh, outside Earl's Court Station. This is the away pub, uh, it's pretty round at the moment, but yeah, this is where the march to the ground starts later on. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So team news is in, we are full strength. Um, Van Dyke starts. Um, yeah, so no real surprises in the lineup. Even more confident than that. Jesus. What an equaliser from Daniel Sturridge, of all people, at his old ground. Just that absolute wonder of a left foot with a curling effort. Um, we couldn't believe it. Uh, you know, as much as we had the pressure on them second half, I actually never thought we'd score, but Sturridge, of all people, comes up for trumps. And it's a point. Could have been three on the balance of play, but I think probably just about a fair result. But we've just got to be delighted. A, the fact we've got a point. B, that Daniel Sturridge came off the bench and made such a big impact. We're still unbeaten, and we're right up there. We really are right up there. Back uh, after the game, uh, made the journey back from West London, and... Yeah, uh, just reflecting on it there of, uh, of that hour or so that it took for me to get back. Um, what a what a point! I mean, you know, it's it's an easy thing to say that we would have lost that game a couple of years ago because you know that seems to be the narrative for you know this, a lot of games this season. You know, the, the Leicester game we might not have held on, the Palace game might not have held on, and we have. This is significant. This is a very significant, not just mathematically because you know Chelsea would have leapfrogged us, um, we'd have been behind Man City uh, on, on points. So to keep Chelsea at bay and to stay with Man City points-wise is important. That's two big away games out of the way in, uh, in Spurs and Chelsea. Uh, and we've nav navigated our way through of those without losing. Um, so yeah, league form is, is you know, our, our first team are unbeaten this season. Um, concerns, you know, a couple of concerns. Mo Salah, again, you know, it wasn't a surprise to me that he was hooked. Um, and yeah, you know, various, you know, just the front three on the whole, just not quite gelling. And it's 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 been... You know, almost a quarter of the season now, and they're still not, uh, still not firing. You know, but you know, it was it was just a, it was just a great game between two sides with a lot of quality, uh, a lot of quality from back to front. You know, I thought Chelsea defended very well. We were very predictable um, in our attacks, especially in the first half. Uh, and Salah, to be honest with you, was you know what was a bit of a culprit. As was Mane. You know, I didn't think either of them uh, were at their best. I thought Firmino played well. You know, he, he held the ball up, he kept it well. He he waited for runners around him, um, but didn't look like scoring really. 
Um, I guess just a bit of a lack of invention. Um, in the midfield, I thought Jordan Henderson was probably the weakest. Didn't think James Milner was brilliant either. Vinaldo, I thought, was a contender for man of the match uh, in defence. Gomez and Van Dijk were terrific. Allison obviously made a couple of good saves to keep us in it. The frustrating thing for me was just the predictability of our attacks. Um, I think the Shakiri sub came at the right time, something a bit different. Um, but he couldn't really get going. Um, you know, the, the, the tendency was always to cut inside. That, that was Salah's issue. Alonso found it quite easy to deal with that. And Shakiri really didn't offer anything as different as you wanted to. Um, there was too many long balls getting pumped forward towards Firmino and Mane, um, which was so easy for Rudiger to deal with and for Luis to deal with. I thought both of those players were terrific. I thought Chelsea in midfield were very, very mechanical. Um, Jorginho, Kante and Kovacic all, you know, I, I, I might have underestimated just how well they work as a trio. Um, I thought they were all terrific, especially Kante. Um, but Jorginho's passing was great. He, he had a bit of freedom, maybe too much, you know, not as much as what Fabregas got in midweek, but maybe too much. Um, Kante's work ethic was terrific, I thought. Um, he was probably the best midfielder on the pitch all game uh, with, with, uh, with competition from, from uh, Wijnaldum there. Um, it was just two quality teams, you know, two teams that can defend. Um, and I didn't see us scoring. I didn't see us scoring. It took that moment of quality from Sturridge to, to kind of uh, to earn us that point. And, you know, Daniel Sturridge is, is going to be a, an option for us this season. It's, it's great to say that. It's great that we've got players coming off the bench and, you know, hooking Mo Salah last year. Looking most Salah on 65 minutes. Excuse me. Looking most Salah on 65 minutes last year would have been crazy because we literally had nobody that were around to come on and cause problems. But we've got Shakiri who can do that, and we've got Daniel Sturridge. You know, last season Solanke was off in the change. And we haven't. It's so loud around it. We haven't even seen Solanke this season, you know, because. Daniel Sturridge is, is a genuine option and he's scoring goals. That's three goals for him this season and this one is an absolute belter. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot to work on. First half, I thought Chelsea were, were clearly the better side. Um, but second half, we, we were. And I thought, you know, I was, I was thinking to myself with 10 minutes to go, um, you know, I, I was preparing for myself for what I was kind of going to say and I was thinking... If we lost one 0 I still don't think we've played that badly. We did, we did create chances in that second half. You know, Sadio Mane's shot of a near post, Fabinho's header, um, the Shakiri one where you know Robertson plays it across. There were a few good chances. Um, just unfortunate we couldn't we couldn't score. But then you know the most unexpected of goals comes from Sturridge, and it's a big point. It's a big point. We're not top of the league anymore, and we've got Man City next in the league. We've got Napoli away in the meantime, but. It's a huge, huge goal. It's a, it could be, you know, you, never, you, you don't know what the season-defining goals are until the end of the season when you look back. But that could well be the season-defining goal. It really could. And I'm so happy that it was Daniel Sturridge that scored it. Um, you know, just the, the narrative of it being back at his old club, everything around it. Um, be, he'd been written off so many times. We all love him. We all want to love him. And, you know, I think we all should love him. Um, and we've got no reason not to now that he's done that. Any of my Swedish followers out there, this is how we celebrate. That's the stuff. That is the stuff. Right there. That is just beautiful. Who was here back in the day when I used to go to non-league games and uh, review burgers and stuff? Well, my own sandwich this time. Belter. You might be thinking why I'm celebrating, it's a point at Stamford Bridge, but I think we've got every right to celebrate that, you know? Um, we don't want to be a team that's happy with a point, but, you know, it's a great late goal. Anyway, I've spoken enough about the game, I'll do more so in the week to come. Um, next up is Naples, Napoli away. We fly on Wednesday morning. Um, let's hope everyone stays safe. Let me know if you're going out there. Um, if not, there'll be plenty of content for me. Uh, make sure you follow my Instagram, Ben might say, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook as well. Um, and sorry, I got distracted. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more to come from the Reds. Plenty more to come from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, comment with your man of the match, and any other thoughts. And I'll see you soon.